Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last Friday, I'll let you know that Fly OOBE, which is becoming a very popular Windows 11 bypass tool, now lets you choose your default browser during Windows 11 installs, bypassing the requirements. I'll leave the video linked if you'd like some more information. That was bumped up to version 1.3. Now, just to let you know that the developer has already rolled out another update, and these updates are really rolling out fast and furious um, over the last couple of days. And we now have Fly OOBE 1.4. And there is a couple of key highlights, just to give you a quick overview, um, if you would be interested, as to what's new in version 1.4. First of all, the executable now goes by Fly O. .exe. With the developer saying ThinkFly Start, which now is your launchpad into the app. And they've also added a brand new little helper, as they call it, called Spot.exe. With the developer saying, I always found it annoying to hunt down tools during Windows 11 setup via the Start menu or Run dialog. Spot fixes that. It surfaces the most important locations and or tools and even doubles as a mini help center for Fly OOBE. Type help and you'll instantly see key GitHub issues and launch it by clicking the search icon in the top right. Then as we can see, they've added support for Windows 10 consumer ESE enrollment with or without a Microsoft account. And that's the extended security updates program where you get an extra year of support. And the developer says further you are polish for the BUI and refactored numerous OOBE views for a cleaner structure and easier maintenance. So that's version 1.4. So they're really pushing out the updates to this app. And I'll leave the download link for version 1.4. I'll leave it linked in the description if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.